Hey guys, it's Dr. Childs here, and today is lesson number 17, and we're going to be discussing what is the best way to take your thyroid medication. We're going to talk about the difference between AM and PM dosing, uh, should you split your dose, and what type of things should you avoid, what type of supplements and uh, should you avoid while taking your thyroid medication. So let's jump right in. So first of all, we need to talk about why it matters when you take your thyroid medication and how you take it because really what you need to understand is that in order for the thyroid hormone medication that you take by mouth to work it must be both absorbed and activated okay and what that means is just taking it by mouth and calling it a day isn't necessarily going to help you because thyroid hormone is sort of notoriously difficult to absorb by your intestinal tract uh, that's also complicated by the fact that many thyroid patients they also have intestinal issues so they have acid reflux they have intestinal overgrowth and they have uh, fungal overgrowth and they have things like like these issues and what they do is they prevent the normal amount of stomach acid that comes out they prevent the breakdown of the, the casing of thyroid hormone and then therefore the absorption so all of this really matters and then of course if, if that if it impacts how much you absorb it's going to impact how you feel so believe it or not making a couple relatively simple changes to how you take your medication may actually improve your free thyroid hormones such as free t3 and free t4 which will therefore impact how you feel so it's a really easy simple way that and it's something that you can do so a lot of the times people get frustrated because they they go into their doctor because they feel like they need a different medication or a higher dose or whatever it is and the doctor's in charge right in that way right that you can't force them to give you a different medicine you can't force them to change your dose but you can change how you take that medication which there which may then influence how you feel and your free t3 and free t4 level so this that's why this is this is so important so let's first start uh, the discussion by talking about what time of day you take your medication and so Traditionally, you probably know that your pharmacist and your doctor will say, take it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach and don't eat anything for four hours. So that's sort of the traditional advice. However, there have been a couple of other studies that show that, first of all, taking level thyroxine in the evening is just as effective as taking in the morning. So that, that's this study right, right here. So you, you can look at this. Basically, what it says is there's no difference um, in those who take it in the morning or at night. Okay, and, th and that's important. Um, because what, but well, we'll talk about this first. Then there's other studies which say taking level thyroxine in the, in the bedtime can significantly improve your free thyroid hormone levels. Okay, so the reason I show you both studies is because it's not like some studies show that it's, it's, um, less effective. They either show it's just as effective, if not more. So what that means is now we've opened up a whole nother um, avenue and a whole nother way to take your thyroid medication because taking it in the evening may potentially increase the amount of free thyroid hormones that you uh, that, that well incre increase the amount that you're absorbed and then therefore increase your free thyroid hormones and this is felt to be for a couple reasons number one your GI tract is the most active it will be throughout the entire day first thing in the morning number two people tend to tend to drink coffee and they tend to um, consume caffeine first thing in the morning and what do both of those things do to your GI tract they speed it up right and so that means that most people have bowel movements in the morning because the GI tract is up and moving and what that means is the uh, the amount of time the length of time that thyroid hormone sits in your GI tract is reduced because it's moving quickly throughout your intestinal tract so what you want to do is if it's hard to break down the capsule of the thyroid hormone we want it to stay there longer so your body can break it down and absorb it so that's why um, that could be a potentially bad thing now the next question is, well let's talk about let's talk about two things, with meals or without and with supplements or without. And so um, we'll, we'll, we'll do that by looking at a table here. So these are, this is a list of substances that interact with level thyroxine which is the, the, the active ingredient in thyroid medication and all of these things may reduce the absorption um, of level thyroxine. So I've talked about a couple of these here. So first of all, we talked about the time of day that you take your medication. If you're struggling, consider taking it in the evening because that's a really simple thing that you can do. We already talked about that. Number two, taking your medication with food. It's generally uh, advisable to avoid that and the reason is because your body has to sort of compete with the absorption of the food and with the thyroid hormone. So if you take it uh, in the evening, which is usually generally what I recommend people do, most people don't eat right before they go to bed, so this is sort of a non-issue. But if you if you're somebody that has to eat breakfast first thing in the morning, this is something you need to consider uh, because you might you might be inadvertently reducing the amount that you, of thyroid hormone that you absorb by taking caffeine, 
by eating breakfast, you know, 30 minutes to an hour after you wake up and so on. So consider the food thing. It does, taking it with food may reduce the absorption. The next big one is iron. So this is complicated because most hypothyroid and, and patients with Hashimoto's have some, well, if they're women, not, not necessarily men, but if they're women, there's some element of iron deficiency and that's usually manifested by low ferritin. Now, iron is very important for thyroid function and it's also important just for energy and for the, um, the, the production and quality of your red blood cells. So you need iron in your body. However, taking iron, especially in supplement form, may reduce the amount of thyroid hormone that you absorb. So iron cannot be taken near or close to uh, your thyroid medication. Um, but again, that shouldn't be an issue. Like if you take iron in the morning and you take thyroid hormone in the evening, those are so far apart that it's not an issue. But if you're talking about iron and then the other one is calcium, um, iron and calcium are the two big ones that you, you have to separate by at least three to four hours. If you don't, you're going to risk um, absorption issues. So if you take thyroid hormone first thing in the morning, then you should not take iron or calcium for at least three to four hours. To prevent, to prevent that. Another big one is cholesteramine. This one um, may or may not uh, be used by you, but this is a binder. Um, it, it, it usually is, uh, it, can, it can help to bind up some toxin, biotoxins in the, in the gastrointestinal tract, but it will also bind up um, your thyroid hormones. So you want to avoid that. Sucralfate, uh, and then also with that, we should put acid blockers. So sucralfate and acid blockers, what they do uh, is that they alter the amount of, um, well, they al alter your the amount of acid that can be produced because they're meant to treat like ulcers and and they're they're meant to alter the acidity in your um, in your stomach really and so if you have low stomach acid you're not going to be able to break down the thyroid hormone like I said the capsule that that uh, the thyroid hormone is surrounded in so those are those are big issues as well iodine taking high doses of iodine near your thyroid hormone um, can actually impact the absorption so you want to make sure you're only using the recommended dosages and not high dosages at least not near your thyroid medication we talked about caffeine before so try avoid avoid using caffeine near the time that you take your thyroid medication the reason for that is it speeds up your intestinal tract we talked about the acid blockers we talked about calcium and then another important one is actually estrogen so estrogen doesn't impact it doesn't necessarily impact the absorption, but what it does do is estrogen causes an increase in thyroid binding globulin, and then thyroid binding globulin is what basically your body used to, uses to carry thyroid hormone in the bloodstream. And if you have high thyroid bi binding globulin, that's going to gobble up your thyroid hormone and inactivate a large portion of it. So these are big things that you want to make sure you understand and make sure that you are not taking or, or avoiding them. Or like I said, if you take your, your thyroid medication in the evening, you, the, a lot of these are not really an issue because you can take your eye and you can take your calcium, you can take all of your, those other things first thing in the morning and then leave your thyroid medication for the evening. And then that way they're so far apart it's not an issue. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about was split dosing. So split dosing refers to taking a portion of your thyroid medication in, in the morning and then a portion a little bit later. So it's the same total dose, but it's split throughout the day. So an example might be, let's say you're taking 100 micrograms of T4 and you take 50 in the morning and 50 in the evening. So you're taking the same total dose throughout the entire day, which is 100, you're just taking it in, in two splits or in two separate uh, dose time intervals. And so the question is, do you have to do that and is that effective? And the answer is maybe like a lot of things. So I would say of all of the patients that I have, I have probably the majority of my patients taking their medication in the evening, and I would say maybe 30 to 40% splitting their dose in some way. And the reason I have them split their dose is because uh, one of two things, really. Uh, a, they one, they feel better when they do it, uh, because they feel like they need that pick-me-up at some point in the day. Or number two, they're suffering from heart palpitations or some other side effect related to too much dosing at once. And so if you fit into either of those categories, it might be a good idea to split your dose. The same can be, you can do this with NDT and you can do this with T3 as well, but you do not necessarily have to do it. And that's the point I want to get across. You can, but you don't have to. So what I'd recommend um, under the supervision of your doctor, play around with how you take your thyroid medication. You know, you may want to try splitting it half in the morning, half in the evening. You may want to start, uh, consider taking just some in the evening or, or all in the evening and none in the morning. Do something like that uh, because I think you have the potential for impacting how you feel and it's, it's such a cheap, easy way to do it and you can usually do it by yourself. 
Um, but do at least touch base with your physician so that, you know, they're aware of what's going on. You can show them these studies that talk about the different times of day. I mean, you can't really deny it. It's from JAMA, which is the uh, article over internal medicine. It's a, it's a massive journal. So, you know, your, your physician can't really um, deny the, the value of these studies. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you guys. This is episode number 17. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.